welcome back to our channel. Today's video is a keto tips, not necessarily tricks, but keto tips and things for maybe beginners or maybe helpful tips if you're already on the keto journey or you're curious about keto. Basically things that I did that helped me lose 30 pounds in five months on the keto diet. If you're new here and you enjoy these keto videos or you're on the keto journey, subscribe button is down below. Go ahead and like this video if you like it. And let's jump right in. Okay, keep in mind that all these tips and stuff are in no particular order from like most important to least important. They're all just kind of there and they're all important, I feel like. Okay, so tip number one is in your kitchen, your cabinets, throw out any tempting food that you have if you don't have willpower. I actually didn't have to do this because my husband wasn't on keto, my kids aren't on keto, and so there are like fruit snacks and stuff that stayed there. I would say throw it out. If you feel like this is what you're doing and you don't want any like back doors that you can just sneak out of, throw out like your cookie jar and like your hidden stash of like Hershey's bars and Hershey's kisses because that's exactly what we have. Okay, tip number two is kind of a fun one. Pinterest is your best friend. Yes, Pinterest is your best friend. And they have tons of incredible recipes. Recipes for things like fat bombs, which are basically little treats um, that are yummy. And they kind of curve that sweet tooth a little bit. And so there's another really cool, so Pinterest, the app Pinterest, and then also ruled.me is an amazing resource as well. They have amazing recipes in there. So check those two things out. Those will be your friend. Tip number three, so tip number two kind of led me into number three. I have a sweet tooth, like real bad sweet tooth. And I knew that if I didn't have things, if I didn't have things prepped and ready to go in my freezer or in my fridge for when I need when I needed something sweet, then it would be a fail for me. So I had to make sure, especially in the beginning stages, that I had fat bombs. I made these peanut butter and chocolate they were like supposed to be Reese's peanut butter cup like dupes <laughs> don't taste like them at all but because they were cold and because they had a tiny bit of sweetness to them they were good um and so that is huge for anybody that has a sweet tooth like I do make sure you have keto friendly sweets prepped for you you also have to remember not to overdo it <laughs> Okay, so tip number four is to track. And I mean every single thing that you ingest. Track it, including water. I can't, I keep saying you, but I don't want to shit on people like, you should be doing this, but oh, I'm just saying that this is stuff that I did. I tracked every single thing that I was ingesting for that first month. I think after that first month mark, I got in a routine, a habit of things, and for the second month, I kind of like, I figured it out. But for the first month, for sure, I was tracking everything, and I started using my Fitbit, and I really liked that because it was tracking my workouts and energy, so calorie-wise, I was I was keeping track of how much, how much of a def deficit I had, so like I wasn't ingesting as many calories as I was burning, and I liked that, but the Fit, the, my what is this called Fitbit app doesn't have macros in it like it didn't show me my macros and I wanted that um, specifically like how many carbs I was having you know how many grams total added it up it didn't do that for me so then I started using my fitness pal um, and in my fitness pal I just started taking the end of the day the calories I had burned from Fitbit and just plugged it into my fitness pal so I could still figure it out it just took couple extra steps but it was fine I can't remember who the author is but there's a book called the compound effect maybe it's not in that book anyway basically there's a principle out there that says if you want to be successful at something you're gonna need to track it and so I tracked that first month like strictly everything I was ingesting okay tip number five is to eat clean or strict keto for the first month to two months I did this and I and I feel like if I hadn't stayed strict, like if I had a little cheat here and there, 
it would have thrown me out of ketosis and I wouldn't be as successful as I was or as I am I guess um, and so I just want to bring that home so there was no cheating also I wasn't snacking I was eating basically two meals two two and a half meals tip number six is to be drinking lots of water luckily for me I like the quarry water I'm not I know this isn't everybody's cup of water but I like it so things like this make me happy because this can fit into my water for the day and to be honest I don't think that I had an actual goal I as far as water drinking I have like this I don't even know how many ounces it is uh, let's say 40 ounces yeah I think it's like maybe oh no let's say 32 ounces I have a 32 ounce little tumbler thing and I wanted to fill it up four times a day that was my goal every time did I make it every time no but you should be drinking more water than usual that's what I was told tip number seven is to make sure you are supplementing if you need to so kind of about at week three into keto I noticed my legs started cramping up more like my calves like when I walked or when I went up some stairs or something like they were kind of cramping up and um, so I needed to up my magnesium and potassium basically my electrolytes and so that's tip number seven make sure that you have your electrolytes I really like Powerade Zero because um, it's easy just to drink it you can get different supplements I actually haven't needed to I think once I drank some Powerade Zero or pickle juice I thank the Lord I love pickle juice by the way Vlasic kosher dill pickles taste different than Vlasic original dill pickles kosher is better it's delicious anyway you could drink pickle juice out of the jar too tip number eight is to let your body adjust until you feel like it's adjusted <laughs> it literally changes how your body is running and working and how it operates and like changing your operating system in a way and so it's an adjustment and um, just let your body do its thing and listen to it so in saying that I waited I think it was almost after my second month was done or maybe like a month and a half until I started working out until I felt like my body was ready I was cool like every day like there wasn't any holdups and I felt good and you'll feel you'll notice when you feel good but like I felt good I, I felt like I could you know work out and so I started working out around then but if you and some you know to each their own but this is what has worked for me so if you feel like your body's ready for it then go for it or if you feel like that's what you want to do you want to be someone that works out the whole time then go for it I can just tell you that for me in my keto experience I could not have worked out for the first three weeks for sure maybe by the fourth week I could have but definitely at a month and a half I felt good enough to get my workout on okay tip number nine and maybe one of my most valuable tips is to find someone join a group Facebook groups have been so valuable to me I started following a bunch of people on Instagram I just searched the hashtag keto and found people through there that I felt like I could um, that I could relate to or that were or maybe around the same weight as me that or people that were the same weight and had lost um, weight to kind of like where I want my goal weight to be so just make sure that you are feeling like you're you're inputting a lot of motivation for yourself and that I swear it keeps it helps and keeps me on track if possible I'll link my two favorite keto Facebook groups down below I don't know that I can do that but if I can I'll put them down below because there's two of them more specifically the second one it, it has motivation keto motivation motivation keto I don't know something about that that one has been so helpful and I made sure I kept it like all my no my notifications on my phone there are thousands and thousands of success stories in there so helpful and any question that you have like a lot of people are willing to answer I don't think it I think it was maybe my second month in keto or maybe maybe after my first month going into my second month that I have friends like that ar around me a lot so like I know Shauna and I don't know if Mika was doing it like full keto or not but anyway they're on the Y life they're up here I know they're on the keto journey also and so they started and we're like friends we're buddies so <laughs> we're around each other a lot so it made it so much easier to be able to kind of talk about it and like be on the same journey 
I don't know what it is about cravings, but if you can crave something and miss out on it with somebody else, then <laughs> it doesn't make it as bad in a way. So definitely find some friends or someone that you can chat with about things that you miss. I miss Tim Tams. Tim Tams are the ish. If you don't know what it is, you need to look it up right now. Do a Tim Tam slam with some like hot cocoa or coffee. Ugh, miss those. Ha! Tip number 10. I only had nine tips, but I had to sit and think about another tip because I just felt ending at nine tips felt weird. So tip number 10. If you decide to do keto or you're on keto, wherever you're at in your weight loss journey, take pictures and most importantly, take measurements take them write them down be consistent with them I honestly I'm not that great at taking pictures all the time but measurements that's awesome because I lost lost at my five month five six yeah five months yeah five months <laughs> just checking I had lost 15 inches off my body on keto and I would have never known it would be been that much if I didn't start measuring and I even started two weeks after I started keto. I started measuring two weeks after I started keto and still have have that big of a number. And sometimes what I learned is that, especially in the last three months, the scale hasn't moved that much. It's, I've maybe lost a pound to two pounds to, to two pounds, like the last three or two, three months. Majority of my weight fell off the first and second month. And so now it's just like measure, like, and I'm losing inches every month but the scale isn't going down a lot, but that's okay because I'm still, I'm, <laughs> you know? <laughs> okay, there you have it guys. That is my 10 tips to how I was successful in losing 30 pounds and 15 inches in five months while on the keto diet. If you're curious, I started at 204 and technically my last lowest weight is at 173. Um, so it's 31 pounds. 30 is just such an even beautiful number so. my goal is to get down to 150 ish so hit subscribe stay around a while I, I'm still gonna be doing my monthly keto updates so just stick around subscribe hang out for a while thank you guys for watching I really hope that this video helps you in some way if you're considering keto if you want to be successful at keto fingers crossed prayers rain down i hope that you are successful in this keto diet if that is what you choose to do as always guys i love you god bless you and we will see you okay that's all she wrote because there should be another tip those are all the tips i wrote down I feel like my mind isn't going, working well right now.